starting tonight with Coronado's 23rd anniversary. It's bright, it brings the tropical flavors right up front. We are here at Carl Strauss's Arts and Amps. I'm really excited to be here and it's really awesome, it's a free event. Coming back off of Vegas, had a great time in Vegas. We got to walk the strip a bunch, have some really good drinks, uh, really good food, really good wine, and some pretty damn good craft beer. Um, brought up some from San Diego, didn't get to drink as many or review them as I wanted to, but we were with friends and I wanted to spend the time with my friends and actually be out there instead of sitting in the hotel room typing up a review or on the strip and writing a review and things like that. Um, so, <clears throat> This is kind of a little bit of recap of the last couple of brews from Slight Christmas uh, through the last couple of days. The first one um, was the Belching Beaver Mexican Lager. That was pretty damn good. Um, my cousin brought some over for Christmas Eve dinner. Yeah. They're really smooth, really easy drinking, great flavor. In fact, they had a little bit of a peanut flavor, which I thought was pretty interesting. Not sure if that's intentional or if that was like, um, or if that was unintentional, but it was an interesting flavor profile to kind of switch it up and it was really cool. Um, then we went over to hang out so, with some friends and my buddy picked us up the Love and Ritual from Great Notion. That is their IPA brewed with Nelson, Sabro, and Citra, I believe. Um, I don't know if they can anymore. Um, but that was a solid IPA. Really, really good. The Nelson flavor came through really perfect. It gave it a really nice little bit of a funk to it. A little bit of a white grape kind of flavor. But the Sabro really brought in a really fresh, really solid fruit uh, base to it as well. I honestly love Sabra hops. Like I really love peach, so that's really cool. Um, and then the citrus kind of balanced it out really nicely. So then we move on to Vegas, and again I knocked back a couple of those uh, delicious uh, Belching Beaver Mexican lagers. So honestly, I suggest those. Especially. An alt beer from a Nevada brewery, um, but that alt beer was really really solid. Really good character or hop or malt character, um, and it was just a solid alternative to been the normal IPAs and things like that lately. Right after that, this one I remember because it was kind of an easier name to remember. Uh, Great Basin Brewing. No, no, that was the first one. The second one was a Czech Pilsner from Tanaya. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right. Um, that was another really solid. Um, alternative to the IPAs and stuff like that. It was really smooth, really easy drinking, um, still really good malt and hop character. Um, just all around two amazing brews from Nevada. So if you're out there in Nevada, definitely check out Great Basin and Tenea. It's T-E-N like 10 and then A-Y-A? Yes, A-Y-A. So yeah. Um, great okay, Bruce. We're pretty much going to start on a pariah. We're going to end the year on a pariah kick. So this is their Dorcha Extra Stout. Hops used are Nuggets and Golding. Malts are Turo, Brown, and Roasted Barley, and C15. This is a 7.2%. Let's get into it. I actually haven't had a stout from Pure yet, so let's see how this is. That's pretty dark. Boom. Alright, wow. Um, from here you get a ton of chocolatey notes, a lot of good coffee, um, a lot of roasted, but there is that nice sweet uh, fruit aroma on it as well, so it's pretty interesting. Pour a little bit more in here. And you can see it has like a really nice head, dark as hell. Um, it smells amazing, so let's get tasting. Look at that. Cheers. That's really, really smooth. That's amazing. It's super smooth. It rolls right into a nice chocolate characteristic. Um, a little bit of like, it's like that uh, fruity floral chocolate um, on really good high expensive chocolates. So that's really cool. And then it has a, an amazing coffee aftertaste. 
It just sits really well on the mouth and on your tongue. Leaves a really good aftertaste. Just an all-around amazing stout. So cheers to that. Oh, man. It's really, really good. Okay. I'm going to finish this one, and we'll have another one coming by. All right, it's Pine by Pariah. It is using Chinook and Simcoe hops with two-row oats and wheat malts. 7% uh, IPA, and like I said, brewed by Pariah here in San Diego. Tonight I'm using my new cool little glass, Life is Too Short for Bad Beer. Thank you, Jake and Kieran. Appreciate that glass. I've had this one before, and it's really, really good. So I was eager to buy another round. It's going to be a ton of head. Yeah. All right, so you can see that this is really nice, uh, like light, pale, golden yellow with a really nice uh, fluffy white head. Smells really good. Lots of citrus, lots of uh, like floral notes. Sweet citrus, grapefruit, all those good things. Mark can smell it and he's like three feet away from here. Cheers, y'all. They're not drinking anything. It's metaphorical. Like your success? No, my success is literal. So there's really, it's really smooth up front. It's really pillowy soft. And then it brings in really nice uh, kind of... On this one, I get a little bit of like a uh, grassy or kind of unripened uh, like tangerine and orange flavor. Um, Damn, what do you think? Yeah, it's really smooth, um, citrusy, really good flavors. But there's a little bit of an unripe uh, citrus on this round that I don't think I had last time. So that's kind of cool. Uh, a little bit of uh, nuances to this round. So yeah. Cheers to 2020 starting up. Hope you're having a great start of the 20, the roaring 20s. And see you in next review. Cheers. Right.